Hello friends, today we are going to determine the wavelength of a laser light using a diffraction grating. This is a very simple experiment. So if we look at it, we need a table on which we place an optical bench. On this we place one stand with a plate. On this plate we can use graph paper. Along with this we need a stand on which we can mount our diffraction grating. This is diffraction grating. So if you want to read more about diffraction grating, you can watch our video shown on this eye mark. Now we can place this diffraction grating on the stand. Thereafter we need a helium neon laser. Now when we switch on this helium neon laser, we see that after passing through diffraction grating, we get a central maxima on the right and left hand side, the first order and second order maxima. If we change the perspective, this will look like this. Now the straight going light is deviating because of diffraction grating and we know that the central light is central maxima, first order maxima and second order maxima we can define in this picture. Now to determine the wavelength of this laser light we need these angles angle of deviation and overall to perform this experiment we can construct a table like this in this table we can see the second column y in centimeter this is the distance between the screen and the diffraction grating we can change this value and observe different set of values now for this value of y we will observe two values x1 and x1 dash these values are the deviation of the light from the central maxima so on the paper you can use your pen or pencil to mark them and then you can calculate the distance between central maxima and first maxima towards right and left hand side in the next column we can take a mean of them and finally we need the value of sine theta the ratio of this value x and y should give us tan theta but when the angle is very small and we can say that when y is much greater than x in that case the value of tan theta theta and sine theta are very close so we need not any further calculation if we keep this value of y high enough finally in the last column we have this formula for the wavelength in this formula we can see some quantities like a plus b sine theta which we just calculated in the previous column and this value n in this formula the value of n is 1 because we are doing this for the first order spectra the value of a plus b can be calculated by knowing the value of n with every grating you will find this value of capital N which is number of lines per centimeter so if it is given in terms of centimeter so this is 1 by n if it is given in terms of inch then use this formula to find the value of a plus b finally after putting these values of sine theta a plus b and small n you find the value of wavelength lambda but in the units of centimeter you can further change this to nanometer or angstrom whatever you like you can perform this experiment for three different values of y and finally take a mean of the wavelengths calculated using this grating formula now you can also perform this experiment for second order spectra so construct the same table for the second order instead of uh, observing the distance of first order maxima from the center now we will observe the distance of second order maxima from the center so we will observe x2 and x2 dash and finally we will take a mean of them and exactly the same way we will take the ratio of x and y and in the last step we calculate the wavelength lambda but in this case the value of small n is 2 because we are performing this for second order maxima now if you have calculated this for both first order and second order maxima so at the end you can find mean of 
both the outcomes now we know that the known value of helium neon laser is 632.8 nanometer and we can also find the percentage error using this formula of known value minus experimental value divided by known value into 100 in this way you can perform this experiment quite easily i hope you like our video if you like this please don't forget to like share and subscribe to know more about the diffraction grating you can watch our videos given on the end screen take care have a very good day